Hi everyone, I'm Denise. And I'm Georgie. And we're the, the Happy, Happy Vegan, Vegan Couple. couple. <laughs> so I know we all love pizza, right? And we've got a great video for you with a variation of pizza, pizza rolls. Mm -hmm. It's just a fun way to eat pizza, like it kind of rolled up and you'll, well, you'll see in the video. But you know, here's the thing. You can go out to a pizza restaurant. Many of them are now having vegan pizza, but here's the difference between what you'll get at most pizza restaurants and what you can make in your own kitchen. When you go out to get pizza, you're most likely eating a white refined flour crust. Yuck, not good for your body. We're gonna make a whole wheat flour crust and don't worry, it's not too heavy. Like you might think, we've served it to bunches of people already and they love it. It's healthy, it's yummy. And the other thing is when you go out to the pizza restaurant, if you want vegan cheese, they're gonna probably give you one of those oily kind of cheeses, like diet cheese, which is basically made out of oil. Of course, we don't do this at the Happy Vegan Couple House. We're gonna make our cheese out of nuts. And so on that, in this video, we're gonna show you how to use the cheese, but we have a separate video for you to watch on how to make it. And that one is gonna be called uh, mozzarella cheese, a plant-based cheese. So that's where you learn how to make it. We also have on our YouTube channel, a video for seitan pepperoni that you can put in these pizza rolls. Now we were gonna put it in, but you'll see at the end of the video, we forgot. But it's a great dish. It's again, will add nice flavor if you want to put it as one of the toppings, or you can leave it off and just use vegetables, you know, as you'll see in this video. So, uh, two separate videos that kind of go with this one if you want to do the mozzarella cheese and the seitan pepperoni, okay? Yeah, she said like there are a few steps to this. So, the cheese, the pepperoni but it's well worth all of the steps that you're gonna do to make this dish. And Georgie, of course, will show you step, yes, by, step, step. by step. So there won't be any confusion and you'll see how you can do it just like he does. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before we go to it, we just thought we'd share with you a little bit of fun news that we're happy about. So we were recently interviewed uh, for a newsletter of a great group called Healthy World Sedona. Sedona, Arizona is where they're located. And every year, uh, for the last couple of years, they put on a wonderful veg fest and also a, 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 a conference with doctors and medical people alongside of it. And, uh, and the thing about their website, Healthy World Sedona, is they put on all the videos from the veg fest and the doctor conference for free for all of us to watch. So there's so much knowledge there for all of us to gain. So we thank Healthy World Sedona just for doing that. And we're excited that we're gonna be a featured story in their July 2019 mm -hmm. newsletter. So if you wanna read it, go to their site and look for it. And what it's about is how we became the Happy Vegan Couple, that little journey for us, and then what we've been doing after we gave ourselves that name. Of course, you guys know we're trying to help everybody become whole food plant-based eaters because we just think it's so great for all of us to do that but anyways that's healthy world sedona we okay. also celebrated my birthday with them yes to say thank you for all of that yes bev and don Bo are the founders of that group and we were so happy to meet them anyway so we're ready to get to this <laughs> sure. wonderful video it is a long video because there are many steps but i think you'll enjoy it and watching georgie cook it up so here we go. Here we go. Enjoy. We'll see you then. Okay, everyone, let's get started on my pizza roll dough. First step is going to be putting my yeast in water because that's got to be like two or three minutes, four minutes to get activated. Now, what I have here is a, a cup and a half of water at no hotter than 115 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to go a cup, cup and a half of that. Two packets of yeast, and these are seven gram packets. You're gonna come a little closer, I'll show you Denise's kind of drops in. That's what the yeast looks like. Just take this and spread it around a little bit. What we want to do is let this sit for about three, four minutes, and it's gonna foam. If it does not foam, then you got old yeast or your water was too hot or too cold. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside for now. 
Now, next step, I'm gonna show you my, or I'll show you my, all my ingredients. What I have is whole wheat flour, spelt flour, which is a wheat too, Italian seasoning, basil and garlic powder, salt, one teaspoon only of olive oil and some sweetener, which is a guava syrup. So the first thing I'm gonna do is out of the way. Now I, I have a nice little mixer here. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my whole wheat flour in here. If you want to come up here, Denise, and be my flour. I'm gonna put all my dry ingredients in first, except the spelt. I'm gonna hold that back because that's gonna be added slowly. To because if you put too much, it's gonna be too dry or too wet. So my seasonings, my salt. We'll hold off on the two sweeteners. Then we come up here and I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit. Then we tip this down. You have anything you wanna say about our whole wheat crust here? Some of the things that we're putting in here and it's most of this is seasonings. If you just put whole wheat, it's gonna be pretty blah. You know, just the fact that we have a time. I like extra basil, that's why we're putting extra basil into it. It just adds more of a zest. Okay, everyone, as you can see, as you can see, my yeast is starting to foam already. It's almost done foaming. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add my sweetener. The olive oil. Very, very little bit. Turn right, one teaspoon of olive oil for a whole big crust and is almost like using no oil. Right, now I'm gonna put it on the kneading part, which is two. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in my yeast. I'm just kind of stir it around. This is probably gonna be pretty soupy. That's why I'm using the spelt flour to make the dough. Okay. Just wanna get all that dry up from the bottom. A little bit of spelt flour. What I had is I started with a cup here. And what you want to do is you want to mix this until the dough starts pulling away from the, the pan and not sticking to it. That's why I'm working this. A little muscle action there in the arms, huh, Georgie? Good workout. Now you can see it's still sticking. I was still sticking to the pan, so a little bit more. Now, if you put too much flour in here, don't add cold water. Just add a little bit of warm water, just otherwise you'll kill the yeast. And you know, just be careful how much flour you put in. You want it, you want it not really where it sticks to your fingers when you touch it. See it's still sticking to the bowl, as you can see in there. And you see it's still sticking to the bowl. So a little bit more. It actually smells good. You have to remember, it's got to sit, it's going to be sitting for an hour to rise. And the size of the dough will be twice as what we have right now in the bowl. This is how I make the rye bread too that we need. Okay, we're going to go the rest of it. That was one extra cup. Just 
think if we didn't have modern modern appliances, how much work this would be. <laughs> He said this is on a kneading setting on the mixer. Right? right, number two. So it's very slow. And I got the kneading blades in there. Should we pause for a moment? Yeah, pause. Okay, everyone, I added about a half a cup more of spell flour. You can see I've got a ball now. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. Nice, thick. We're going to set it over here and cover it up. So let's say, before we cover it, there let's you go. look at it. So it's pretty thick. and. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now we're going to cover it up for one hour and... On, over the top of the stove that I got heated up a little bit, that's gonna rise, it should be double the size. So if you can kind of remember what that looks like, we'll show you in a, a one hour, it should be double the size. Okay? okay? Okay, now we're gonna make some of the stuffing that we're gonna put in my pizza rolls. If you wanna look, we got red onions, red bell peppers, baby bella mushrooms, garlic and onion powder, and some more Italian seasoning. Now, you can put broccoli, cauliflower, chopped up little pieces of carrot, whatever you'd like inside this too, added with these. I mean, you don't need to just stop at these three. I'd say eat some Kalamata olives. There you go, we can do olives. Okay. We might even add that when we go to the stuffing. Okay, I'm gonna put my onions, my bell peppers. Yeah, we probably will put some olives in there. Mushrooms, and then I'm gonna add my seasonings. Now, I'm just gonna mix this up, and we bought these silicone pads from uh, Costco that you don't need to have any oil or anything to use them. You know, you, you can see it pretty well fits in there. It doesn't burn the pan, it doesn't burn your food, cooks it pretty even. Now, we'll just stick this in here. No oil. Spread it around. Now we're going to put this in the oven at 425 for 30 minutes. Okay. All right. So we put that in the oven. And we'll come back in 30 minutes. And I'll show you what it's going to look like. Okay. Okay, everyone. I'm getting ready to do this dough. Uh, the other vegetables should be coming out of the oven in a second. I just want to show you some of the other ingredients. We're going to put fresh spinach. Kalamata olives, as Denise requested. And here is my cheese, as you can see, and we made, that we, we made. made that the other day. Yes, we had to put it in the fridge. And then the pizza sauce, naturally. And it's a mirror mm. gland. It's uh -huh. a really good one. And <clears throat> I'm gonna take these out. It says 50 seconds. I can go ahead and take them out. Okay, those are the veggies that's going to be in there with all of the rest. Okay. Okay, so let's pause and I'll set it up for the rolling of the pizza roll. Okay, everyone, my dough's been in the bowl for an hour. Let's see it. Oh, wow, yeah. Look at that. Double that's the a lot size. Bigger. Double the yes, size. It is. Okay. okay, I'm going to take half of this at a time. First thing I'm going to do is put some dough or some flour down on my counter here. I'm going to take half of the dough. How's it feel? It's still sticky, but it feels perfect because we're going to work it out here. Okay. I'm just going to play with it to get all the tackiness out. And that's why we put the flour down. You can see it. See how it's already... Nice and mm, mm, mm. good texture pizza dough here. A little bit more. Okay, now my pizza roller. My grandson actually helped me do this one day. 
That's right, he yes, did. did. That was fun. And that's a great way, of course, getting kids to be willing to eat something, you know, that they may not have been used to if you're just transitioning to whole foods. Right. Have the kids engaged. And I'm putting more on here because it's still tacky. Let's see if we can get this turned over. Oh, yeah. I want it just a little bit thinner. Okay. Get it turned this way. And that's going to go on a pizza stone. Yes, it is. Which is, I think, warming in the oven. Yes. As it's... you're rolling this out. Yes, my oven's at 375. Oops. Don't want to knock that off the table. Let me get this out. It's important to make sure your pizza stone is hot. Now there is our pot heats pizza stone. Always be careful. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is put my pizza sauce. That's a, actually, it's a very tasty uh, organic pizza sauce from near Glen. Mm, very good. And you could make your own, but this is really, this is one we enjoy. And you want to put enough on here so that you get the sauce at each bite. A little bit more here. This is actually going to be dinner tonight. Now, of course, you could do this as a real pizza. Sure. But pizza rolls is just kind of another fun way of doing it. And they look really cute. Okay, Coming next out of the oven. layer of spinach. Fresh spinach. I mean, already. Okay, our vegetables that we cooked in the oven. So that's our mushrooms, red right. peppers. And, and you notice that I don't have any onions. liquids down there. It, it cooked it enough where I don't have soggy stuff right. that I'm putting in right. for pizza. That's important because uh, otherwise you're going to have a soggy mess. Calamata, Calamata olives. olives. It always adds, adds a nice flavorful zest also. And here's the cheese. Oh, we we'll used that. Here's my cheese that I made last night. So you're kind of stacking everything pretty much to one side. Right, because we're going to roll it like a burrito. Oh. Okay. A little bit more right there. Now I made two of these containers of this cheese last night. So. Okay, first thing we'll do is flip this over like that. Not, to, not too much because it'll be too thick if you do. Next, you start here, nice and slow. Georgie, you put that together so quickly. You're just such an expert at it. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get this up without breaking. Oh yeah, there you go. There's the first one. All right, look, so, how, look how nice that looks. <laughs> so go ahead and pause, I'll roll up the next one and we'll show you what it looks like before I put it in the oven. All right. Okay. Okay, everyone, I've got them both rolled out. You can see how nice. If you come in close enough, Denise, you might even be able to see the Italian seasoning and stuff inside. Right, I can see dough. those little dark spots in yeah. the dough. That's the, all the seasoning yeah. getting so, extra flavor. And it turned out really well because you can see only one or two of the little spinaches is poked through. So that means that I'm not too thin, I'm not too thick. So yeah, so we're gonna put it in the oven at 375 for 20 to 25 minutes. So we'll come back in 25 minutes and see what it looks like. All right, get your taste okay. buds going, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, everyone, there's the pizza rolls. Nice, huh? Look at that. They look like something that somebody would want to eat. Maybe <laughs> these two that are standing here to my right, our <laughs> yes, friends David we... and Anita. Yes, we want to eat them. Yes, we definitely we're, do. We're going to do a little taste test here. I'm going to slice them up for them. <laughs> So we have, we knew that we had a lot of food. That's why we invited our friends over to Perfect. share with us. And okay. there's extra pizza sauce there if you want to put some on top of that. You might not even need it right now. No, I don't, I don't know so. what knife you needed, but go ahead and cut a piece. And We actually forgot to put the pepperoni in. <laughs> All oh. right, where is the pepperoni? So, Georgie, tell about... That is so good. 
Here's our pepperoni that we made that we were supposed to put that inside. Right, so. we realized we forgot to put the pepperoni inside the pizza rolls, mm -hmm. but it can be eaten on the side. Yeah, I'm gonna taste that. And this, just think how good that would be if you delicious. had that in. Mm. This is really delicious. That's so Jake. good, man. Well, I'm so glad you thought of us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, David and Anita say it's a hit. <laughs> All right. We'll yeah. see you in a little bit. Okay, bye. So, didn't you think that pizza roll looked yummy? You could see David and Anita enjoyed it. And it really is a wonderful dish and fun to eat, a good party dish, you know, as well. So, just reminding you for the to make the mozzarella cheese and the seitan pepperoni, two separate videos on our YouTube channel for that. And then you can use it in this video. Right, and also you want to make those ahead of time before you get to your pizza roll because they right. have to set and it takes time to cook them. So just to let you know that. <laughs> okay, so of course the recipe will be at the end of this video and I will also post it on the YouTube channel page for this video. And we just wanna remind you, if you haven't subscribed to us, please do and hit that little bell so that you will be notified whenever we put a new video out, okay? And I hope you enjoyed what I made for you tonight. All right, until next time everybody, I'm Denise. And I'm Georgie. And we're the Happy, Happy Vegan, Vegan Couple. Couple. Go plant-based. Plant -based.